Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 24 big money bolos coming your way. Items I bought low and sold for big money. Um, most of these items sold for anywhere from $35 and up to 157 was the highest sale in this video. So a good range. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and on this channel, I share with you guys about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items to buy low and sell high. So we are going to get right into some big money Bolos, and let's get started. All right, so the first item that I sold are these plastic blow mold string lights. So they're shaped like uh, pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. And I picked these up at the Goodwill for $3. And I ended up taking a best offer of $50 on these. Uh, this was actually three sets. So this was a longer um, strand, like you can string them all together. So $50, the buyer was all in for $71.23 on those. The next item is this Eden Pure. Um, it's a humidifier. So Eden Pure makes heaters and I have sold the heaters before, but this was a humidifier and it was new old stock in the package. Um, got it at a garage sale for $5. Never heard of the humidifier, but knew of the heaters. So I went ahead and picked this up. I figured it's new old stock for five bucks. I might as well. I ended up taking a best offer of $38 on this and the buyer was all in for $54.32. And it was, um, you can see it's still in the original packaging. So I just disclosed that the box had been opened and I did take it out of the box to show the condition, to show that it still had the plastic and everything on it. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $5, I'm sorry, $3. And it looks like I missed one. Hopefully um, it's, I just mixed up the tabs because it's a good one. Okay, so yeah, these came from a garage sale. They are Fire King Anchor Hawking Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are milk glass. And the condition is, you know, it's just kind of fair. Um, this one's all rusted out, but um, still sold for $50 best offer. Buyer was all in for $60.35. So definitely a nice little pickup there. And it looks like I missed the mask. So that's a bummer. Um, I don't know why it somehow got deleted. Okay, so this is Baby Jesus, and this is a jointed nativity scene doll. So it's kind of like a baby doll. Um, I, I want to say it's like vinyl or, yeah, plastic vinyl, and super, super darling. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1.50. Um, I could not believe it. And this would be something that would maybe be used um, in a nativity scene, like at a church or something like that. Um, but really, really cute. Sold it for best offer of $48 and the buyer was all in for $60.20. The next item I sold is this Huntsman Seville Row Made in England Paisley Tie. And I do not remember where I got this. I pick ties up all the time from thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. A lot of times I'll buy them in small lots. And this one sold for a best offer of $40 plus tax and shipping all in for $50.05. I will say ties are tough. Um, a lot of them are going to be really low dollar um, if they're not a name brand and probably hard to sell. But if you can find some of the more expensive name brands, they can do pretty good. So 40 bucks on this tie, I was really happy with that. The next item is this dollhouse furniture. It's for a living room. It's um, got this green checkered look to it. Picked this up at an estate sale for $7.50 and that's paying up for me. Um, I did pay up a little bit, but I had a good feeling about it. And I ended up selling these for $50 and the buyer was all in for $65.95. And you can see here, I've got the original packaging, but it wasn't um, complete, like the top had been cut off. So the next item I sold is this um, ceramic tree. And this is a Cordy tree, C-O-R-D-E-Y number 131. 
and you can see the base sits really high. And um, I thought it was kind of scary because I have three ceramic trees and I thought about keeping it. And then I was like, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to knock that over. Um, and I showed right there that it was missing one of the little light pegs. I got this at a garage sale for $10, ended up selling it for $157.50. And the buyer was all in for $207.41. Um, I like selling ceramic trees. I do not like shipping them. So um, they are tough to ship with the base and all of that. That one, I actually left the base on and I just wrapped it with a uh, bubble wrap really tight. So um, it must have made it. I never heard anything. So I got these Avon Heavenly Blessings Nativity. It's a lot of 10. It's not a complete set. These are replacements. From 1986, you guys, um, the Avon Nativities do pretty well. I got this at a garage sale for three bucks and I ended up selling it really fast for $56 plus shipping. This haunted house kit, I got at a garage sale for $10 and it did take a little while to sell. It did have some damage to the box, but I ended up selling this for a best offer of $70. The buyer was all in for $84.40. This Hello Kitty came from an estate sale. And it is a self-standing Christmas plush doll porch greeter, 23 inches by Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y. It is a harder to find one. I could not find another one exactly like it, if I remember correctly. And I ended up taking a best offer of 50 on this. And it the buyer was all in for $67.59. I got this at an estate sale for six. The next item is this vintage Gillette sensor razor. Um, I have sold these before. So when I saw it, I knew it was a Bolo. Um, this is from 1993. It is collectible. And I ended up selling this for $42. The buyer was all in for $51.91. And I got it at an estate sale for $1. And if you want to see a bunch of other items that my husband and I picked up at an estate sale, there is a video titled We Split Up at This Estate Sale. And literally him and I went in, we went our separate ways. We just completely split up and he grabbed a bag of stuff and I grabbed a bag of stuff and we came home and we unbox it for you guys. And I pop up screen shares of everything that sold and everything that is still actively listed. But um, I think I, there were probably eight to 10 items that had already sold by the time I did the video. So they actually, the items that we picked up moved pretty quickly. So it's definitely a good video to go check out if you're looking to learn. Um, a lot of the items were bread and butter, but some of them, um, like this 42 bucks for this razor, I think that's pretty good. The next item is this spoon. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2. It's got this really pretty pattern on it. Um, Dimitas, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct, but Lily of the Valley pattern, initial K. And I can't, I I don't know if I used Google Lens or if I just looked up um, what it said on the back here and just kind of looked through patterns. But I did figure out that it was Lily of the Valley. Or maybe I messaged my friend Ron 360 Vintage Company and he um, makes a lot of jewelry and he may have told me the pattern. I think that may have been what happened. I've had a few um, spoons lately. So trying to remember on that, but this sold for $36. The buyer was all in for $43.45. The next item is this Nintendo DS. I walked up to a garage sale, you guys, and I got this for $3. I could not even believe the price tag said $3. So I could not walk away with that quick enough. And the buyer bought this, um, sold for $82.90. The buyer was all in for $100.28. The next item, I love these. Um, it's a vintage fiber optic flowers. It's a lamp. It's a music box. But in this case, the music box did not work. Um, but it is fiber optic and it is so cool. I love these. Uh, this ended up selling for $38. Uh, the buyer was all in for $54.90 and I got this at the Goodwill for six bucks. The next item is this vintage House of Hatton 12 Days of Christmas ornament calling birds from 1989. These House of Hatton ornaments are definitely a bolo. Um, I ended up selling this for $42 on best offer. Picked it up at an estate sale for five bucks. The buyer was all in for $51.13. And I totally missed another one. Where are they going? That is so weird. Hmm. I had another House of Hatton 
and it disappeared. That's two that I'm missing from this video. Huh. Okay, so this SpongeBob, SpongeBob Lego set, um, I will copy those over and put them in the next Big Money Bolo video so I make sure you guys get that content. So stay tuned for that. So this came from Facebook. I got about five bucks in it and um, it came in a lot of Legos. So I did have to assemble it, which it wasn't too bad. And the big sets, I just, uh, unless it's like big money, I won't do it. But these SpongeBob's, they're, I mean, 40 bucks I got for this and it's a pretty small set. So that was worth my time to put it together. And the buyer was all in for $50.18. The next item are these vintage scratch and sniff stickers, fabulous flavors, banana. And I ended up taking a best offer of 45 on these. And the buyer was all in for $49.30. I do have a video on this. I believe it's on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I picked up a lot of stickers from a garage sale. I believe I paid $3 for all of them. It has been a home run. If you want to learn about vintage stickers, definitely go check out that video. Um, I have about probably 10 cents a quarter in this, not much at all. This vintage scream, um, I, I don't know if it's vintage. I may, maybe it's from 2000 something, but uh, Fun World Scream 4 Ghost Mask Light Up Animated Plaque. Now the problem is, is that it was getting jammed up. So I had to sell it as is. I put a video in the description. If this would have been in working order, I probably could have got over $100 for it. But I paid five bucks at a garage sale, ended up selling it for $50, and the buyer was all in for $84.12 with tax and shipping. I finally found an Avon calendar, you guys. I was at a garage sale and I walked in and I got it for like a buck. Um, I was so excited because you know how you have like the bolos that you wanna find? This was one of the bolos that I wanted to find. And I found one. Um, I sold this for $175 and the buyer paid shipping and tax. So they were all in for $197.86. And again, my cost of goods was $1. Um, if you guys want to learn more about um, Avon items that you can sell for a good profit, I do have a video, a category bolo video on Avon items. Some of them might surprise you. There are some out there that are still pretty decent. This Harmony Kingdom Singing Dragon Silent Night Original Box. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $3, took a best offer of $40, and the buyer was all in for $49.79. Um, Harmony Kingdom is definitely worth looking up. Some do better than others. Some are just a bread and butter. This one did pretty well, so I was pretty excited about that. The next item is this House of Hatton 12 Days of Christmas Goose. So this one is $19.97, so it was a little more modern. Still vintage, but more modern than the ones from the 80s that I got. And I full, fully expected this one to be worth less. And I was completely wrong. This one is more of a rare, harder to find item. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $75 plus shipping. Uh, $5 was my cost of goods. The buyer was all in for $87.94. And I probably could have held out for more um, closer to 90, but I just went ahead and took it. The other um, House of Hatton that I sold are the Five Golden Rings, 12 Days of Christmas, 1989. I took a best offer of $62 on this one, and the buyer was all in for $71.63, and estate sale $5. So I went into an estate sale, and they had a tree, a, like a wire tree, with all of these hanging on it. And I had heard of House of Hatton before, and... Um, you can see here, this is how it's marked H of H. Okay, guys, definitely be on the lookout. I'm sure it helps that I had the tags with mine, but um, definitely a bolo even without the tags. So if you see those House of Hatton, look them up for sure. All right, you guys, um, that was supposed to be 24 big money bolos, but I think two of them did not work for some odd reason. Um, again, I'll put them in the next video and I apologize for that. So maybe there were only 22, but thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please leave me an owl emoji if you made it this far and thanks for watching.